Yo. Mike, fucking, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. So this is how we stuck it when it's minus 20 all the time in Canada. Build up some scaffolding, and we wrap the scaffolding in insulated tarps. So I'm gonna take you and show you real quick what we've been doing for the last couple weeks. Let's walk in the bubble here. So this is going to be a EFIS stucco, a drive it system, four and a half inch drainage channel foam. This is layer one. I'll show you a walk around here. This is where we have our heaters. We have two of these bad boys running all the time to keep it up, up temperature in here. We a ladder to the second, or I guess third level. And then we have our ladder to the fourth level. Built four high here. Here's our second heater where we mix all of our mud. A little table for tools and whatnot. But yeah, it'll take you up. Take you up. You can get a better idea of what we've been dealing with. First thing I'll say is that I had to deal with this beam. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can give you a perspective of what it was. So we had to wrap styrofoam around every single one of those. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight squeeze. So yeah. This is all two coated. It's gonna be, it's all ready for our color. Finished coat, which is what we're starting right after this video, actually. A couple of days of color and we'll be all done. Take you up to level three. Then you can get a better idea from level three of the undertaking that we went through. I'll walk you down to the end. So that you can see properly. It'll come outside actually. So the long walk all the way to the end. So this is level one. The white on the walls is a primer because the finished coat acrylic stucco or render is gonna be white white. So we wanna make sure that there's no pinholes or anything shining through. As you can see, there's a band up top that's gonna to be a different color that goes all the way. And then we have a huge white section that goes. And then if you look down, the two panels underneath are gonna be also a different color. And then this is broken up into, I think, 37 different panels that we're gonna be doing. We'll walk this way, we have a change of elevation. Go from four and a half inch foam to three inch foam as a detail. And then the three inch foam will take us to right here where we switch back to the four and a half. And then these are all styrofoam, fiberglass mesh, double coat, oh I should go outside. Go outside for this. I don't know why I didn't go outside in the first place. I switched back. I'll come back this way. There we go. You better, <coughs> better view of it. And she's not small. She's a pretty big job. And this has just been for all of the plastering stage just me and one other guy let's continue down continue down yeah the scap's 130 feet I think this all looks blotchy just because it's drying I just finished this up this morning and then I'll take you up one second to level four Here we are in level four. I won't take you outside on this one because 
the planks into this. And there's a white prefab panel above. And then this is all going to be our third color. Take you for a little walk. So yeah, once we're gonna duck your head low here because the way our hoarding is. And then if you I don't know if you can see the hoarding, but and then like I said, we got a little three-inch band that goes that way. So yeah what I'm fucking doing. Hope you guys have a good day. See you later.